You know what I watched the other day, Mike? I have still not seen Lawrence of Arabia. But you know what I did watch? Oh, a two disc, uh, a two Blu ray set of uh, 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 Randy Macho Man Savage. (laughs) There's a documentary on him. Uh And then just all of his matches. Like, all his greatest matches. That guy. I like him. The the late, great. Some of the best interviews I've ever seen. How do you follow up 30 VHS tapes of the Morton Downey Jr. Yeah. show? Well, simple. You go to... <laughs> you go and you buy a two Blu-ray set of the best of Macho Man Randy Savage. There's no blooper reel on it, though. No, he was intense. He didn't crack up. I'll tell you what, AP Mike. I'm coming for you, AP Mike. You gotta listen to me right now, AP Mike. You gotta hear what I'm saying, AP. <laughs> Is there any uh, stuff from the Slim Jim era? Oh, yeah. He? Yeah. I'll tell you, if you were looking for a spokesman. Oh, yeah. Man. He mar- he pushed that Slim Jim stuff like no like yeah. they signed him for that Slim Jim thing. He's wearing Slim Jims to the wrestling match. He's got yeah. a hat that says Slim Jim on it. He's showing up at NASCAR things as Slim Jim as a logo on some dude's car. He show up at a- everything. Slim Jim got their money's worth out of uh, out of Macho mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, yeah. He's just like I tell you what, AP Mike. You hear me, AP Mike? be great to get a uh, macho man randy savage do like audible.com ads everybody want to get books <laughs> if you can't read <laughs> you go to audible.com and you check it out you see what the book you want to get you get the book any book on any subject use offer code oh yeah yeah you want to get the Savage cast? It's the Macho Man Randy Savage podcast. This is assuming he's still alive. He's passed away, unfortunately. Well, doesn't Dan Savage yeah. have a podcast? Like yeah. Dan Savage and Macho Man Randy Savage. Savage and Savage. Savage and Savage. <laughs> they team up. As for the... That's like... That appeals to <laughs> no one. No, that's like a bad sitcom <laughs> about like, we're pairing you two guys together to do a podcast. <laughs> Like this f- failing podcast network. Yeah, they pair up Dan Savage and, and Rod- Macho Man Randy Savage and Josh Gad. You listen to me, Josh Gad. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, the cream always rises to the top. One of the best clips ever is him, <coughs> Macho Man Randy Savage, doing the thing with Mean Gene Okerlund. Was like. I'm here with Macho Man Randy Savage, and he's he's like, I'm telling you, Mean Gene, Commissioner Gene Tunney, he's trying to put me down because and he has a creamer in his hand, Uh from a that he got from a table nearby, craft service, craft service has just coffee pot on it with some creamer. Yeah, (laughs) he's got this creamer, and he just keeps going. I'm telling you, the cream. Rises to the top. And it is the most effective prop comedy I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. It's the best prop comedy in history that he's doing with a thing he grabbed from a table before yeah, he walked five on Five seconds set. before. He said, yeah. oh, you know what? That'll work. Oh, macho man. Randy Pofo, Poffo. His dad was a pro wrestler. He was his brother. He got his brother in. Macho Man, rest in peace. Still haven't watched, uh, there we go. Mike just cracked open his 19th Coors Light in honor of Macho Man. Sure, it's in honor of Macho Man. (laughs) (laughs) Who am I paying tribute to? (laughs) What? Who is he? Who is he, yeah. But you're just pouring, you're pouring one out down your throat. Let's pour some out. Best show, you're on the air. 
Uh, hey, yeah, uh, this is Dash from Elizabeth. I've got one for the topic. What do you got? Uh, well, I'm so glad you brought up Monster Man Randy Savage because uh, I want to nominate Hulk Hogan for Worst oh. Celebrity iPod. Yeah, Hulk Hogan would have a terrible yeah. iPod. It's a, a lot of, like, Bubba the Love Sponge podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, that would be... Oh, uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm listening to you. I, I, I feel like he'd have a lot of his own music on there. And, uh, Bro- and his but, daughters. Brooke. A lot well, of Brooke. Then, on then, yeah. Then he would, like, ask his children, like, what cool stuff he yeah. should Nick. Hey, brother. Yeah. Nick, what are you listening to these days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Skr- Skrillex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nick, put, Nick put a bunch of EDM on my iPod. Yeah, load Pretty, it up. Yeah. Load it up, brother. <laughs> hey, hey, Hulkster, what's on your iPod? Well, I'm glad you asked me, brother. <laughs> My son Nick loaded it up. What do I got on here? It's got some Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> got Jimmy Buffett, about uh, 12 gigs of Bubba the Love Sponge, uh, some demos my daughter just did. And then a d- DJ set that Ni- N- Nick's DJ set that's pre-recorded when he goes to <laughs> when he goes to DJ Nick's pre-recorded DJ set. He uses my player. iPod as a backup. Yeah, remember when Hulk Hogan was in that movie? Uh, over the top. Over the top. Yep. Wait, over the top is the arm wrestling. That's an arm wrestling movie, right? Isn't that Stallone and Hulk Hogan? Yeah, but the the Hulk Hogan one is called No Holds Barred. No Holds Barred, yeah. Where he plays Rip. Yep. Rip Randall. Not Rip not, Randall. Not Rip Randall. No. And his acting is so bad in the movie that they show, you'll hear him talking, but they show people listening to him. Right. Say lines because they must have looked. Just ADR. <laughs> and there's a point when he's in this. French restaurant with Joan Severance, and he's saying uh, to her, like, there's this waiter who's like, uh, we do not have uh, the hot dog uh, uh, for yeah. you, like, he's, just giving he's him. not used to being in a fancy restaurant. Because yeah, yeah. that's what this yeah. guy pegs him as. But yeah. then Hulk shows him by speaking French, and by speaking French, I mean, he says, we, oui, je femme. Like that's that's, that's it. That's that's it. We, oui, J. Fan. You know the writer of that movie had a, yeah. There was a paragraph. There was like, oh, this will be really great. This is a real set piece. Yeah, Hulk turned it around on him. <laughs> the snob thought he was yeah. like, didn't know anything about French food. He showed him by saying three words in French. <laughs> it's a classic snobs versus slobs yeah. scenario. We, oui, J. Fan. So, caller. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. Excuse me for saying this. Did we talk yet? I can't remember anymore. <laughs> Very briefly. <laughs> you said uh, you suggested Hulk Hogan. I sure did. Well, young man, you might go, you go to the top of the list. I would say Hulk Hogan is yeah. the best one to date. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, thanks Take for the call. Thanks, brother. We, oui, Jay Fam. 